All right, legends, jumping back in for a quick video here regarding the origin buy schedule and mainly around trades. A lot of people have been asking me about how many trades we should have at certain points throughout the season. I just want to give you a few options here uh, from, from different points that everyone's at at the moment. I've got one here for 24 trades, one for 22, 20, and an 18. At this stage, coming into this round, uh, as to the amount of trades you could use over the next little period, and you know where you're going to be after round 13 and then what to use in that next section and then leaving yourself with a bunch to to finish off the the season and you know, we will speak about we obviously get the the four trades added from round 20 onwards so you could you can't use them up until that point but you can use them uh through that section there and just be aware that from round 13 so trading into round 13 and from there onwards you can use four trades per week so i'm using sort of conservative numbers as to how many times people will trade uh, in each and every round, but uh, just be aware that a lot of people will want to use those four trades in, in certain rounds uh, and, and these numbers might be a little bit higher than, than what I've predicted. So I also have my potential guys to to hold, to pick up uh, in terms of cashies, middle middle range guys uh, on that, on the right there, and also some guns to think about as well. So up to you how you want to play that one. Uh, I've got to add Adam Elliott in there as well. Uh, and if there's anyone I have missed, Jump in there as well. I haven't really updated it too much from last time I did it, but that's the, the general gist. And just pause the video and have a look at that uh, if you want to, to check that out. But in terms of trades, so I just put an example here. For those who have 24 trades left, so there are a few out there. If you were to use, I put out the number of seven over the next four weeks, which could be a little bit low. So round 10, 11, 12, and 13. So I said one, one, to two, one or two per week over the next three. So maybe four trades used in that next three weeks. And then I said three uh, out of the potential four in round 13. And that should be able to get you hopefully around that 12 to 15 people playing in round 13 and set you up pretty well to, to do damage in that first uh, origin buy round. So that's the thoughts on that. If, that, if you do that, it leaves you with 17 remaining, which I think is fairly solid, right? If you're then to use 10 over the next five weeks, so 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So that's the first round after. So that the round where the origin players would back up, for example, uh, and everyone's them, them back playing, well, should be close to back playing in that week. That would leave you with seven, right? But then the extra four that you get in round 20, you would have 11 left for the last, what, rounds 19, 20, one, two, three, four, five. So seven rounds to use those 11 trades. And that's all, yeah, or one and a half per week. So pretty solid, right? If you're looking to wrap up your team in terms of getting 17 to 18 guns, You'd be able to use probably six of those trades for that and then use the last five just to straight you know if there's a one week suspension or one week injury you can straight swap those guys to another gun to another mid-ranger whatever you need for your side whether it's cover in one week uh, you might be only going with three in the wing fullbacks for example and someone gets injured in that week and you're like quick i gotta make that one trade to to bring someone in so i think that leaves plenty of room if you have 24 trades left and you go something along those lines in those trades then that would be enough and if you happen to trade a little bit heavier through the origin period and left yourself with say nine or eight over the last uh, seven rounds, and that would probably be okay as well. So that's that. If you went here with, uh, if you had 22 trades right now, and if you use that same amount, seven over the next, he leaves you with 15. Uh, and then again, 10 used over that five rounds through the middle, leave you with nine left with that extra four there. So okay, I'd say at that point. Again, if you went a little bit harder, then you'd probably have you know five to six left for the last seven rounds, which gets a little bit tougher, for example, but still manageable, I'd say. If you've got 20 trades left right now, then that obviously becomes a little bit harder there. You, you know, would use the 7, leaves you 13. 10 used again would be 3 for that next couple of weeks for, uh, for 19. So for that one week for 19. And then you get the extra 4. So you'd have the 7 left, which again, if you have trade a little bit harder, you'd have 3 to 4 left for 7 rounds, which makes it pretty tough. Um, and yeah, I've seen people do it before where they run out of trades with about a couple of weeks to go. And if you've got 18 potential players uh, and cover in each position, then you could do that. That That is okay. Um, so just be aware of that. If you are trading pretty heavy, you're still you know, a good chance of being okay out of it. Uh, I think the last one's probably a little bit too tough. If you're sitting with 18 trades right now and trade exactly like we said, you'd have one trade left for around 19 and then four left from 20 to 25. And um, again, if you went a little bit harder, then you would uh, have probably that two to three or about two left or zero definitely coming into um, round 20 and you would have the four left for that last period and uh, probably would be struggling to you know, you'd probably be using those four trades to get to your final side if I'm being honest so because of you know, how round 13 and 17 set up the 70 people not playing it's hard if you want to get 12 to 15 players 
there's going to be guys in there that aren't going to be in your final team. So that's the the main issue there is that you, if you'd run out of trades through that period, then you wouldn't be using some of those trades in 17 and 18, for example, to get guns in your side ready for the final uh, bunch of rounds of the year. So that's something to think about that you would really run out in that period and then be trading in over the last few rounds trying to get your gun team. And that's probably a little bit too late. You want to have it pretty close to set from 16, 17, 18, 19 potentially 20 and then let it ride for the last five or so rounds there that that would be my theory as to how you do that and that last one would be a little bit tough so if you have used that many trades i would try to hold off a couple over the next few weeks uh if you i would definitely be holding guys that are playing in round 13 so you don't have to worry about that uh, and then you can trade them after through that middle period so that's that as i said have a look at those guns that cashies if i've missed anyone let me know because i uh, haven't really updated it but that's that. That's that video. I hope that I helped you with you know potential trades that you need through certain games where you should be at right now potentially. But that's sort of the main area of right now. The 24 to 18 uh, is what I'm seeing most teams at somewhere in there. If you have more than that, I think you should start trading a little bit heavier and you know bring in some some if there's any good cash cows. Not that there's many, uh, but really trying to upgrade and and either you can hold now if you if you don't feel like there's many good cash cows or you don't have many upgrades to do right now then trading really heavy through the origin period and getting the best team possible for 13 and 17 and really building to your best team for around 18 19 would be the best strategy to go so that's it in that video guys if you really enjoy that and you're new please hit subscribe i'd appreciate that uh, and we'll catch you in the next few videos guys have a good week